Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. A pretty insane market today, a V-shaped recovery intraday. Big slippage in the morning. A little bit of panic, I think, caused that move. Nothing really out there to cause the big fall. I think just sitting at all time highs, a little bit of panic setting in. The VIX was also moving higher at the time, but we saw a really strong V-shaped recovery intraday that set up the stock that I was watching all week and into this week, and that was Amazon. If you watched my pre-market live streams, if you watched my video yesterday preparing us for this week, Amazon was the top watch in my opinion. We had the new CEO as a catalyst. We had a really strong technical bounce on the daily chart on the four hour, a beautiful break and retest. We sort of mapped this all out and today we got the move and I nailed it just as expected. So a awesome trade up on the day over $5,000. And I wanna share with you the trade that I took today, taking it off the nine EMA. Now I did scale a little bit heavy into this position. So, you know, some people out there may discount this trade because I did scale up pretty heavy, but I stuck to my strategy. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my day as a whole. I'll show you my PL, and I'll also have a live recording of me in this trade. I was in the trade. I figured why not get a little live recap of it. So I went ahead and I caught that for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy this recap. If you do, make sure to press that like button before you head out, subscribe to the channel for some more videos and press that bell notification so you know every single time that I post. All right, guys, so we got the Amazon daily chart pulled up and I first wanna quickly break down, if you didn't see my videos, why I was watching Amazon today. So the first reason was we had this breakout of these previous resistance levels right here around 34, 32. So I was watching that level really, really closely. So we had this breakout. We had previous resistance right here. We had some resistance right here. And when we got the breakout, we had a perfect break and retest of this 34, 30 level. On Friday of last week, we got a big push off that level, confirming some support. Now into today, we were watching these pivot highs right here around 35.25. So right here, right at these pivot highs is where I was watching. So if we break this down to let's say the hourly chart, we can see this a little bit more clear. So right there at, the, at this line that you guys see, we have this resistance from Tuesday and Wednesday of last week. Friday, we pushed into it. And today, as soon as we broke over that level, we saw a massive move higher. And this was the move that we were waiting for. And it was a great move. And congratulations to anyone that caught this. A really nice push higher. I know my buddy Matt Diamond uh, also runs an awesome YouTube channel, caught this as well. I'm sure he'll have a video on his trade. So look out for that. But congratulations to him as well. So a big move higher off that pivot high right here. And I will go, I'll go ahead and show you guys the trades that I took. If we go into the one minute chart, we can go ahead and analyze what actually happened um, from open to close today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put back on the, uh, the extended hour highlight. And then I am also going to move us back into the 9 EMA, uh, the 9 EMA set here. So right here, 940 and 105. So here we go. Here is today's action on Amazon. You guys can see in the pre-market, we moved over this 3425. And as soon as we opened, we ripped instantly higher on this move. I think this is where Matt caught his trade. I did not catch this early morning. I was down on an NVIDIA call that I took in the morning. I was down about $200. It messed with my psychology a little bit. I have to be honest with you. I was talking to the chat how I wanted to be really careful today because I opened with a red trade on NVIDIA and I wanted to be patient and wait for my trade setup. I didn't want to force anything. There was a lot of movers out of the gates, very easy to get caught up in that movement and take a bad trade and turn a $200 red day into a $1,000 red day. So I sat back, I relaxed, and I waited for a setup that I really liked. So Amazon was one that I was continuously watching. The move was there, the catalyst was there, the break of that pivot high was there, and I wanted to continue to watch this. Right here, we had an awesome VWAP bounce. This was the bounce that I started to get very interested in. And this is, you know, a few minutes later is when I start to get into this trade. So VWAP bounce was there, very strong. The next bounce that I was looking at is right here at the 40 EMA. So you guys can see VWAP bounce intraday around 12 o'clock, we moved higher, and this bounce off the 40 EMA was very interesting as well. So if you guys are not aware, the 40 EMA is the nine EMA on the five minute. It's very close, it's not perfect, but if I go to the five minute, you guys will see right here on the five minute, this nine EMA is right where we bounced. You guys can see this right around 1325. So 125, if we go back to the one minute, you will see that that circle is exactly where 
I just marked on the five minute. So right there at 1325. So a beautiful bounce off the nine EMA on the five minute. I did not catch that high of day break. You can see the high of day break here. We got that nine EMA bounce on the five minute, a high of day breakout, a nice little break and retest. You can see right here, break and retest of, these, of this nine EMA. And we continued past those highs. Now this is where I got into the trade. Right here on this pullback to the nine EMA is where I got into this trade. Now, why did I get into this? We got high of day breakout on Amazon, a very strong push higher. At the same time, we were getting a strong push higher on the NASDAQ and those two things together, NASDAQ strength and Amazon breaking out of high of day is literally the perfect recipe for more upside. So if I go ahead and pull up my trades, we'll go ahead and analyze this. And then after that, I will sort of give you a quick recording of the live trade that I have for you guys. All right, guys, so here are my trades right here on Amazon. So I went ahead and I bought three 3650 calls on Amazon. Now, the reason I took these 3650s slightly in the money was because the interest in them was high and the spread was pretty, uh, wasn't that wide. The rest of the contracts around that level, the spread was extremely wide and very low, uh, low uh, open interest. And I didn't want to take those contracts because I didn't want to be instantly down uh, really large on the position. So I focused on the 3650s, which had good open interest and had a really tight spread uh, for Amazon, of course. So I got those 3650s at 47.10. So the total position in this trade was just about $14,000. Now, of course, I would have not have lost 14,000. I would have cut this as soon as I saw some weakness, but I was instantly green on the trade and that's why I was comfortable holding these. So you guys can see 3650, I bought them at 1338. That is this candle right here. 1338, I went ahead and I dip bought Amazon. I didn't move, I didn't chase this move higher. I waited for the pullback to the nine EMA. So right there, it's not quite at that level, but with the strength that Amazon was showing, that was a pullback that I was willing to go ahead and purchase near that nine EMA. So I bought three contracts at 1338, which is 138 uh, PM for $47.10 each. Now, I continue to hold this as long as it held the nine EMA. Amazon was strong, NASDAQ was strong. I wanted to let this ride. So you can see I didn't, I didn't sell my first position until 10 minutes later, which was on this red candle where we started to see some weakness on both the NASDAQ and this pretty big crack here on Amazon. Once I saw this thing break below the previous candle right here, I was definitely gonna get out of this position and start taking some profits. So you guys can see, I got out one at 60, 61.90. So that one alone right there is about $14 a contract. So that's about a $1,400 win. Then if I sell the next one at 48 or 58, that's about another $1,100. So that's about $2,500. And then the last one I sold at 56, which is about a $1,000 win. Um, and that would make this up to about a $3,400 hundred dollar trade right here on Amazon. So $3,400, about a 10 minute trade. You guys can see from right here at the nine EMA until I started to see this weakness uh, right here come into Amazon. So an awesome trade, about a 31% win there, 31% scalp. And of course, the reason it's such a large dollar amount is because I did scale into this trade, but I love the momentum we saw. The NASDAQ was strong. The nine EMA was there and I waited for that bounce. You know, what I do like about this trade, what I was very happy about was I waited for the pullback. I could have easily bought here at the highs and instantly went down a few thousand dollars right here. So I'm very happy that I waited for the pullback, stayed patient, you know, stuck to my strategy here and grabbed this trade and profited very nicely off it. So that is my trade recap there on Amazon. Now let's go ahead and bring up the live recording so you guys can have a little bit of entertainment and see how these contracts are moving in real time. All right, guys, so on the screen here is a live recording of my trade. So you guys can see I have my curse over here. This is when I purchased the 3650 calls right here, uh, three of them at 4710 at around 138, uh, 138 p.m. So on the right side here is the chart. On the bottom right is Amazon. You can see right now on the day, I'm up about $2,200. Uh, I'm up on this position about $416 unrealized. Realized for the day was about 1.9K at the time. Now, watching here on Amazon, I got in on this nine EMA bounce, right? So on this pullback, I got in here on this nine EMA bounce that you guys just saw in the previous recap uh, clip there. Now, looking at this, you can see we're getting a very nice flag pattern breakout. We're pushing into high of day. And if you just watch the PL, you can see we were really starting to move higher. 
Uh, the contract ask price is right here. Sorry that it's cut off, guys, but I sort of had to, you know, sort of move this together for it to all fit on YouTube. But on the on this side right here, you can see the ask price of of the contract, which is fifty dollars and eighty five cents. Um, up here, the at the the time and sales and the and the level two are not correct. Those are on Nvidia right now. But this order entry screen, you can see the ask price was fifty dollars and fifty cents. I am in at forty seven ten. So right side is the chart. I'll go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. I don't think we need to sit through all this, but I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. You can see the right side. There's new highs on Amazon. You can watch the P&L if you'd like. Moving, moving over, moving over. We're continuing to hold 9 EMA. Very nice push higher. No concerns right now in the trade. We are nowhere near the 9 EMA. I'm very happy with the profits that I'm bringing in. I uh, just want to continue to hold this. As long as it holds the 9, I'm continuing to hold this position. So we're going to continue to push. You can see the P&L going up. 5100 5300 and at a peak i was almost up 7000 today so i will show you how i did get sort of caught in that pullback and gave up a little bit of profit i didn't sell at the very top uh, so moving this forward you can see amazon still pushing higher up 6100 on the day still moving still moving 63 6600 and we almost hit right here you guys can see that big push higher on amazon up to almost 3680 and we hit $6,900 P&L uh, at its peak. But right here is when we start to get that rejection. And you can see how quickly uh, this thing started to move lower. So quickly, you're going to see me sell one contract. If you watch this, uh, this order entry screen, uh, just keep an eye on that. You may see me start to sell one of my contracts here momentarily. Uh, so moving this a little bit more forward uh, so that we can catch this. So right there, you can see me moving one contract. And I just sold one. See, coming in here, 61.90 just sold a contract. And I did that because I started to see this weakness. Now I'm about to sell one more coming in here relatively quickly. I still see the weakness. I don't see it very strong at the 9 EMA. And you guys will see that I start to scale out of this position. So right here, momentarily, you're going to see another contract get sold in this order entry. Right there, 58.50. I'm not seeing it very strong at the 9 EMA. And I'm starting to just want to lock these profits in. So you can see my position is one. I have one left. And right there, I sell out of my last position for $59.90 per contract, locking in about $5,500 on the day. Um, so really awesome. Just an awesome trade. Right there, you can see it goes totally realized. 5.5K on the day. Pullback on Amazon. Very happy with the trade. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this live recap and the recap of this trade today on Amazon. So guys, that's just about all that I have for you in today's video. Hopefully you enjoy that trade recap, just looking for those nine EMA bounces on Amazon, like I do with every other stock. Amazon was a monster today, and by no means did I catch the whole move, but you can see, just staying patient, waiting for your setup can still yield you a great return, not chasing these moves, looking for the setup that you believe in, that you trust, that your strategy aligns with. My strategy aligns with a pullback to the nine, that's what I waited for, and I grabbed it, and I profited off of it. Congratulations, anyone out there that grabbed more than me on this trade, even less than me on this trade. It's really not about the P&L at the end of the day. It's about the strategy. Can you repeat the strategy? Can you do this consistently into the future? That is what's most important to me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, press that like button. Subscribe to the channel for some more videos. Press that bell notification so you know every single time that I post. And don't forget... You can come hang out in the live stream every single morning from 8 a.m. until around 8.45 a.m. in the pre-market and prepare for your day. With that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.